Okay guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to compress zip files and add them to your Dreamweaver site. So, open up Dreamweaver, uh, on my remote server, connect it up here, go to your whatever page you want to do, so do you wish to overwrite your local copy? So, I work on my website between two computers, so you're going to go to yes, so you always take whatever's newer from your website. And this is going to be loading up, and then you're going to go ahead and open up your folder, whatever you got to copy. So in this case, reference images. So I'm going to right-click here, and I'm going to send to a zip folder. And then it's going to go ahead and make that. Okay, so I'm going to slide this over here. And what I want to do on my website is uh, I'm going to hit enter here twice. Uh, put whatever text you want. RQ1B ref images okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my file here I'm gonna drag it over into the website stuff so Dreamweaver cannot open it up please choose another compatible file so what I can do is oops go ahead and take this go to my local view up here all right, so now we have our local view. And what I want to do is open up that folder on my computer. So you're going to have to go ahead and locate that. So I'm going to open this up. And I believe I have it under documents. Let's go DW and Spencer Clough Online. Uh, 49 megabytes. 0.6. So it's probably going to be this one. Yep. Alright, so now I can open up my other folder. Let's just drag it in there that way since it does, the Dreamweaver doesn't want to accept it because it's not cool like that. Okay, so now we have that. And now we can find it. Here it is. It just popped up. Now I'm going to put this file to site by hitting the up arrow up here. Okay, so it's all set. Now I'm going to go back to my remote server. It should be in here. Yep, there it is. Reference zip. Okay, so let's go ahead and highlight this, highlight that text, and then uh, on the bottom here in this properties, go over to HTML, and then you're going to use the cool little arrow thing, and point to your file. Okay, so now we have a link there. Um, I actually want to capitalize that, so I'm going to go over and do that in my code. Reference images. Okay, click. Now, let's take our tuts, or whatever page you're doing, go ahead and put to site. Has been modified, yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Internet Browser. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't update in Chrome right away, so let's go here, check out our Tuts. It's uploaded, and there we go. Open with, or let's say, let's just save it to the desktop. And, and looks like it screwed up our thing there, which isn't a big deal. But there we go, we can double click that. And there, now you have your files downloaded on uh, your site. So, quick easy tutorial for, this is for CS5, it should work for any other versions too, so have a good day.